Welcome! In this video you're going to learn how to use templates to make a nice round catalytic reaction mechanism in ChemDraw. So here on the bottom right is our example of the mechanism we're going to try and draw. So you'll notice it has a really nice circle in the center. So the way you achieve this is by going to the Shapes tool and selecting the Circle tool. And this one you're actually going to use as your template, so make it as big as you want. Use the Box tool to move it. So I'm going to build my cycle here. And then if you like, you can change it to a different color so that it's really obvious what's in the background. And up here you can see I already drew all the components that I want in my cycle. So I'm now going to move them to where I want them on this circle. And what I'm trying to do is kind of centering them on the circle so that they look really nice and will be even. Here we have a couple in this example that are outside, so I'm going to put those Those will go over here. And finally, the ones that go into the middle. So once we've added our components, we can use our arrows. So again, for a single arrow, take the line, the arrow tool and use the one with the small head. And what we're going to do is just actually draw a straight arrow. You want your crosshatch to be exactly in the middle of the circle. You don't want to be touching your compound, so you want to be a little bit further away. This will be where you want your arrow to start. Then click and drag and take it to where you want it to end. So over here, I want the crosshatch to go through the middle again. And then I will stop. And now you'll notice that there's a blue circle when I hover over the line in the center. And this actually allows me to bend the curve arrow to fit with my circle exactly. So now I can do this again on the other side. And then bend it once I've lined up my ends. For the side reactions, we can do the same method again. So I can draw an arrow, start to finish, and then I can just bend it afterwards. So for the double arrows, we actually also want to use this method. So we're going to start in the middle with the crosshatch and then go to the end where we want it to end, bend it up, and then select the arrow and just move it out a little bit. You can copy the arrow, so Control c Control v Go to Object and do Flip horizontal, and now you see the arrow goes the opposite direction. Now if we shift it, we can get it to line up really nicely. Once we have both, we shift select both and pull it down a little bit until it's centered perfectly onto that ring. We can do the same for the next one on the bottom. Make an arrow to the right, pull the curve out, and then shift it out a bit, copy it, paste it, object, flip horizontal, and then move it back into place. And then select both. Move them in until they're centered around the green part of the circle. We have one more on the right, so we're going to draw an arrow. We have one more on the right, so we're going to draw an arrow that starts and ends here. And then we can bend it again. And this one we have to shift over a little bit to get it to be nice.
maybe rotate it a little bit. On the other end, we'll actually just use the line tool because we don't need an arrow. And so again, we can start and end it where we want it, and then we can bend the line to fit our initial position. We have one more up here where again, we can take a line and bend it and move our component a bit closer. And one more at the bottom, take the line tool start to finish, and then bend it a bit. And so the only thing that's missing now, I didn't include the labels for radical initiation and had, but that's something you could then add in. The last step is now to just take away our template. So find a spot where you can click the green, delete it, and you see we have a really nice, even catalytic cycle here. Thanks for listening.